The Newport 60 Plus Activity Center is under the umbrella of the Newport Parks and Recreation Department and we're just pleased to be able to be here and the recipient of the most distinguished award, service award for ORPA. The service award kind of proves to us that we've really done something for our community. One of the biggest things that we have honored the community with or have strived to help the community with is how to prevent type 2 diabetes. The center can offer up to nine different evidence-based programs of which the Prevent Type 2 program is an evidence-based program and we are thrilled with the results. First of all, I want to be really clear about how impressed I was with the Parks and Recreation for their forward thinking about bringing this program to our community. In particular, Peggy, who really saw the importance of this. We are in an epidemic right now with regards to diabetes. One in three people, adults, have prediabetes, so this is really important. So one of the great things about this program that I helped facilitate was um, it's an actual whole person approach as opposed to what many programs out there are, which is losing weight, what shall you eat, making sure we get physically active. This one just looks at it from lots of different angles. We're looking at it from um, the perspective of how do we keep ourselves motivated? How do we keep ourselves going when we fall off the bandwagon, as it were? What is, um, how do we deal with problems that many of us come up with? Lack of time, lack of money. How, again, how do we stay motivated? How do we deal with our emotions? How do we deal with stress? So this program brings all of that together, really helps people with problem solving, with developing skills. One of the things I think is really important for people to understand is that if you have already type 2 uh, diabetes or you're overweight or a couch potato like I was or have any of those risk factors, first of all, you can turn that around. And it's not as hard as it seems, uh, especially with the support of the group. And Christine, who was a wonderful facilitator in that she was very loving and kind and just made it so you didn't have shame or guilt about the struggles you're having in life. So knowing that even if you are actually diabetic, uh, just by losing a little bit of weight, by moving a little bit more, eating a little bit better, that can all turn around and people don't have to go through the hell, I would say, that diabetes um, creates in people's lives. Um, so I think that's one of the most encouraging things, that it's not uh, anything huge that has to happen. It's just baby steps and another baby step and another baby step. And it works. <laughs>